All right. Uh, can you put it full screen, please? Um, I think the F11 or something. Um, full screen. Yeah. There we go. Um, oh, perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Alex. I want to talk about Orbital, my low-level PlayStation 4 Watch emulator. Um, yes, you might be familiar with that term. This talk will be a little bit simplified for sake of brevity. Emulators are typically classified in high-level emulators and low-level emulators based on what they execute and what they re-implement. High-level emulators such as RPCS3 is just execute, use an applications and re-implement the whole kernel to provide a proper environment. While low-level emulators such as Q XQMU just uh, execute the whole thing and uh, re-implement the hardware you know, to provide the proper environment for the operating system and drivers to work properly. So, for the first part, we want to do a LLE emulator, CPU, code execution. Guest and host share the same architecture, it's x86, but of course we cannot run everything as is, uh, so like privilege instructions to user space. Uh, we could interpret them, but that would be too slow. We could recompile them, but that would be still too slow, like uh, 10x uh, slowdown is not really a, a thing when you are trying to emulate the PS4. So, solution virtualization. For that matter, we want an improviser that is open source, cross-platform, type 2, easy. Uh, the only one we found so far was Intel HaxM, is the one we used, compatible with many, like major OS CPUs, uh, hosts, uh, well, not AMD, but, you know, that, that's on the way. Um, so, uh, contributions, we added a couple of stuff to that. Uh, first, we added, uh, you know, emulator, debugging support, tests with CI, cool stuff for developers. So, uh, then, as of today, it's the, actually the only hypervisor that is able to run the PS4 kernel and use LAN software, so that's pretty great. Uh, yeah, and everything else is in Intel HackSend. You can look at it. It's really, really good hypervisor. The quad quality is, well, <laughs> could be improved, but it works really fine. So, for the hardware part, Orbital is based on QMU. Uh, first, because we need HackSend, and it's HackSend it supports it, uh, well, the other way around. And then, because uh, we need to create custom devices, hook okay, MMIO and, you know, emulate those devices. So, one of those devices is SAMU. SAMU is a security coprocessor that handles encryption, decryption, verification through those secure modules. Uh, written by Sony, right? Uh, the question that always comes up is, like, how can you emulate that if you don't have keys? Because that's the state of the art. We don't really have keys about, of SAMU. So, uh, well, I mean, for things like the compression and verification, we don't really care. We just like hard code the like when the handlers. We say, yeah, okay, everything is fine because we are Sami. We are the emulator, so we can say like whatever we want. For the compression, we just link zip and use it. But for decryption, it's not that much of a big deal. We can just static data never changes, so we just decrypt another real console with a database of that and hard code the replies. For dynamic data that changes, the, like HDD files, saves. We just make our own key. It doesn't really mean so. Uh, we just like pick an arbitrary key, encrypt the data, and as soon as that is decrypted, it will be the same. So who cares? GPU. So GPU has a lot of MMIO register, display, audio, even SAMU from before. But like the really the graphics engine, GFX, is the only that matters. The only one that is really really important. But uh, the pipeline state that it describes uh, without, with the MMIO registers can be modeled with Vulkan. I'm not sure if you heard about that. It's a very fancy, new, modern uh, graphics API. And with that, we can do also CP, like comment processor emulation, which does the good old PM4 packets. If you are a graphics developer, you may know about them. Uh, GCN emulation is just like, would be recompiling shaders uh, back to Sphere V, which is what Vulkan consumes and your drivers would turn that into whatever your host GPU is. So with this, we would solve graphics. Um, then again, the, this is highly experimental, so we don't get graphics output just yet, but we, we are working on that. Like, at least like GCN emulation is, there's some weird code right now about it. <laughs> so, Aeolia, uh, it's an ARM SOC, which is kind of a South Bridge, has exposed as many devices. Many of them are actually quite uninteresting. Uh, you can just like AHCI, or many of them, ACPI wouldn't want to re-implement that. Um, that is, actually you can forward them to QMU and it would work, right? So that's fine. Eolea PCI glue device, it, it's kind of weird stuff that we have to high level emulate. We can run the firmware of Eolea, but that's really tricky, so we skip that. So yeah, status, kernel boots, some init application work. Um, it, it tries to enter safe mode because HDD is not really finished, that's expected, but it works, right? So. And yeah, it's a demo. There's a video on YouTube. You can combine the emulation assembly if you want. So 
Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, source is there, news are there, and if you combine the emulation assembly, you could have a you know proper video demo, whatever you want. So, so thank you. Thank you very much.